abilities that we all were intended to have that have been disconnected from that God wanted to reconnect me to once my mind had been deconstructed. So first of all, all of the framework of my thinking needed some deconstruction so I could even believe that there were actually abilities that were beyond what I was living in. Um, and he used the illustration of a golf as a picture of, well, it's there, the door's open, you can open it, but you can't reach it. So how do you reach it across this gulf? Well, that was the thing of, well, I don't believe it. You know, I, di I didn't even enter my head that there could be something locked up, which needs unlocking or needs unveiling or, or engaging. So he just used the, the bridge thing of, I am going to show you that there really isn't any gulf here. You just think there is because this is separated from the reality of your present level of consciousness to the level of consciousness that you need to come into what I want you to. So he gave the picture. So a lot of things are symbolic of something. So we get it. And I got that. So the next time I approached something, there was no golf in a sense, because now my mind was able to accept and believe things that before I didn't think were possible or didn't even know about. So when I then entered through that picture of there are other abilities here to unlock and to engage, some of them being multidimensional reality and other things, um, the creative reality of the consciousness of the mind to choose and create realities, all of those things were always there, but had been disconnected. And my mind had become rigidly framed by my belief systems, which were programmed through religion and through life. And then when they were deprogrammed, then there's a whole lot of other things here which are now possible. Um, so you don't have to have the same experience as I did. God just gave me the experience to show that I was disconnected from the truth. Once I got connected to that truth, then I didn't have that concept in my mind anymore. So you can engage those things, um, but, but relationally, it was a journey. God chose that point when my mind got deconstructed to unveil and reveal, hey, there's some a different way of thinking that is in align with the mind of Christ, which is not restricted by what you had before. And that's how it works, you know, and, and that's what happened. So you don't have to do that. But I wouldn't encourage anybody to try and do something because they wanted to do it without doing it with or in relationship when you do it. So I would still ask the father, can you unveil this to me or can you reveal this to me or can you walk me through this so I can enter into, you know, choosing time and time miracles and time bubble things and all that sort of stuff. You know, so I wouldn't do it independently. But I don't you don't have to go through my experience. You just need to your own journey towards it. And there may be a level of maturity and relationship necessary to believe and accept and operate in that. And but that's not a performance thing. You know, there may be somebody who is very simply able to accept that reality and do that without any thing because they didn't have a whole load of programming in the way. Uh, but there may have others who have a lot of programming. They wouldn't even imagine or think that they could do any of those sort of conscious reality choosing things of time and expanding and contracting time and all of those things, which I think were, we were created with the abilities to engage with sound and light and frequency and harmony and all those things. But through history, various things had disconnected us from it, whether it be the fall or other aspects where we had lost or I don't think everything was lost in memory on day one. I think over a period of time, 
people walked further and further and further away from the reality of who they were. I mean, Adam and Eve still lived 900 odd years or whatever. It's only Adam. Um, so it didn't immediately bring about physical death, but the further that time took them away from what they were at the beginning, it seems that they were going further and further away from that reality into a different reality. And then Jesus came to restore that original reality. But it's not easy because, you know, it's a process. And Jesus even said to his disciples, look, there's lots of stuff I want to talk to you about, but I can't do it yet because you just can't get it. You know, you won't get it yet. You know, and Paul saw things that he couldn't really express. And there's a sense where, you know, coming into an intimacy with the father, then the father um, reveals and unveils. And we see who we really are and get a glimpse of the fullness of sonship. and ultimately creating because i would have had no even inkling that i could create something and a being but then when i asked the father having been you know, asked to create some beings i'm sort of like mm, i'm going to check that out you know and the father very clearly said well you know, you know how to do this. I've been teaching you how to do it, you know. So then it was like, oh, yeah. Um, and so you can choose the reality that you can speak something into existence as God spoke something into existence. I just sort of thought it was not my place to do it. But actually, the father said the opposite. He said there are things we did not create because we've left you to create them. And hence, when I engage with creating some guardian beings and there weren't enough guardian beings to guard all the portals that are out there. And I asked the father, he said, well, we left those for you to do, not just me personally, but us as sons of God. You know, and it's interesting because I shared that with uh, a few people that I was engaging with online at the time. And we went to engage it, and one of the others did the same thing. Um, so I know, I know it wasn't just for me, um, but I do believe it's something that I would have not thought possible a number of years ago. But my journey has led me to accept that that is exactly what God intends us to be able to do: to be forming and creating our own realities and in alignment with His heart. Because we're always creating our own stuff out of alignment with his heart. It's just how we live. But when we start to choose realities aligned to his heart, then those realities will be different from our present realities. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.